screens. I'm working with two screens, obviously. And let me just share this to my Viber. Because some of my friends might want to watch my stream. Now, let me go back and see that everything is up and running. That's going to take a few seconds. So, I just want to make sure I can see all the chat and messages if anyone has some comments or any my channel bum 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 yeah alrighty um yeah everything works I can see my chat room now let's uh start uh, hello and welcome back again I've been you know I was kind of busy lately which is a good thing for any developer I'm starting up the Unity. I am back fully, you know, powered. I'm back in the game um, to continue making my game. <laughs> so last time we worked a little bit on um, combinations and, and, and there is still a lot of work with regarding to the hits and the combos, you know, in regard with all those good stuff. So I'm slowly loading my um unity app let me try to see if i can move this guy not really i have to wait yeah so this is the unity hub obviously i have pop mma that's the name of my project obviously the game name is pop fighter uh the reason for that is i changed a little bit um so today uh what else we can do let me think about it so yeah i was busy with some other stuff by the way let me start with that guys um a great news obviously not everything fully ready but if you go to www.armbrosstudio.com look at this page this is a page i just created over the weekend it took me a little bit of effort in our page which is obviously not ready fully yet uh, it's we have different games that I will be making obviously and those are just you know estimates for right now and the page you can see a lot of things are missing like pictures uh, I, I have my um, streams YouTube here I mean there's still a lot of work to it but this is pretty much how my page is gonna look like I've put some graphical arts um, you know so all you have to do, you go to armbrosstudio.com and you will see this page. And uh, obviously, first game, which is uh, Pop Fighter. And here is a little description about it. It's nothing ready. Like, here are things that I'm going to take out. Uh, and then you have Interrogation. This is a game I'm thinking to make about... I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. It will be if I make it. It's gonna. It's going to be a VR game uh, that you are interrogating someone. That's pretty much in one room, and the game you can play as being interrogated or being interrogation agent or whatever. Another idea I recently had, and here you can see the text is not ready. Is as above so below. So that's another game I'm thinking to make. Which would be about, uh, you know, there is a Hollow Earth theory, guys, that you could, inside our world, there is another world, another planet like Earth, and there is 15 gates that take you to that next world. So that's going to be my, probably I'm going to make that game as well. It's action adventure, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider type of thing that I'm thinking to make. So in total, I have one, two, three, and four games ahead of time. One of them is the Pop Fighter, which is right now being built, and this picture is not correct. Obviously, this is the picture you want to see. But again, this page I just created within hours, guys. Um, so this is pretty much the picture for the game. And you can always check in my YouTube channel, by the way. If you go to Armbrose Studio, and here is my YouTube channel. You can watch my older uh, streams, all of it, right here. It's a series. There is two playlists, season one and season two for now. Um, and here we, there is a little bit of information. In this page, I will, be, I will be showing what is coming, what is not coming. Here is some information, my email, 
uh, which I probably I'm going to change or maybe I'll keep the same I don't care whatsoever mm, but anyways I mean everything still here is coming you see a lot of things are still empty but um, yeah the game series will be like a process how upcoming upcoming new so this one is going to be like the pop fighter uh, again I'm missing pictures I miss a lot guys this is just a pre-built I just want to show you the page uh, and you can see everything is not working right at this point but still again I just want to share with you the update that I'm working on this as well and it's pretty pretty interesting you know like the pop fighter the second game here is a little bit information about the game I don't know when I'm gonna be ready uh, those are all estimates the March 2020 obviously 20 those are all estimates and those are the games that pretty much I'm thinking about so um, what else so yeah meanwhile the the game has loaded but yeah um, if you like this art that I'm creating with it I use some interesting tools for it which I shared in my um, I shared with you uh, I was using be funky I actually I can show it to you so be funky dot com I, I they didn't pay me to advertise them or anything it's just like you know they have amazing stuff and like you can change a picture like let me start with that actually here is be funky dot com it's pretty much like a Photoshop but online because I work from work sometimes I want to do something and let's say I want to edit a picture right so I don't have a picture yet so let's just say graphic designer uh, start new and then here let's say let's search for mm, mountains I don't know something like uh, let's say I want on the mountains here it comes if you remember I paid like 50 bucks a year or something like that and they give you a lot of um, all templates so you know you could nature let's put nature actually mountains don't work that well but those are like all templates I don't like those one second I think I'm doing something yeah let's put the blank uh, full HD because I think that's how you do it so first this and now let's search for mountains right that was it mountains yeah so let's say let's say you need a picture those are stock pictures and let's say these mountains I like so I just click on it and then from here you just drag and drop obviously and you can stretch it to your window or do whatever you want right okay let's say I want to do this and I want to go a little up because I'm, I care about mountains more than all right so this is the mountains and stars right so you just change here first thing first um, let's see yeah I think it was this one alignment no yeah let's say we change this to photo editor okay what happened bro yeah so let's save this in be funky let's just call be funky design it's fine I don't care about name I just want to show you how this works and how I'm, I'm using this amazing tool so now let's go back to the photo editor and then open in from be funky open an image that I saved which is this guy now here on the left you have a lot of different options you can do crazy stuff whatever you want you can add a text you can add an effect you can do a lot of good stuff but what I'm ca I care about I can make a digital art this one turns any picture into something like in game development you use pixel art so let's say there you go it's already a little too much obviously and you can tweak that thing here so let's say you need a like a animation looking picture you can play with this and tweak a bit and it turns into freaking animation and there's different ways to do that different ones that have give you different effects but generally that's the if you like that effect and I learned a lot of cool stuff here it looks like more animation right now right and then you just click uh, let's sharpen more and obviously this picture doesn't represent it that well so it's kinda you know you have to tweak and find your thing 
I think this digital one was pretty nice. Yeah. But here you obviously, well, that was too much. So let's just do a little bit less. Maybe somewhere here. And then sharp a little bit. There you go. So now it looks kind of too much, obviously. Look at those trees. And yeah, somewhere here. Let's say we just do apply. Let's say you want to use this as a picture. What you're going to do, you go to the touch up. And here they have this crazy cool feature, AI portrait enhancement. So this thing you click and it, add, it look how it changes. It makes like, it takes care of lighting, guys. It's pretty freaking awesome, in my opinion, you know? It's uh, just, I don't know, I love it. I just love it, this is so good. Um, and then you can go back, make it bigger, look at it. So this is how you could turn any picture into animation like and i like this you know but that's not only effect obviously not look you can turn this into oil painting if you want they have amazing effects i'm like really it's crazy how how good look at this thing you could turn this and then and then you could tweak to make a little bit oil painted looking or too much but obviously this those are all the features i really like and that's the reason I choose to, you know, I, I, I was playing with the, they, they have a free version, it comes with a watermark, but since I'm using them and I was like, you know what, these guys deserve it. Look at this one, guys. Look what nice things you could turn your boring picture into something colorful and fun. I'm just saying, like, you know, you could try all kind of features. I'm not going to go all over them. But uh, you can also do something like add a graphics. Uh, one second, I just let's say you can do mosaic out of it. It's, look at this thing, guys! It's like it's crazy. Just a lot of good stuff you could do with it. Let's say I'm going with this, right? And then what else you could do? You could put some frames on it, like this one or something like any any way you you like. And I'm not really into frames, but you have also these overlays, which give you like Earth Day, or you could do something like this. You see what I'm saying? And it's, you know, there's different things you could do with it. There you go, and you can like make little mate, put some design in there. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, again, those things are unlimited. It's only limited by your imagination. You can put some uh, heading here, saying Pop Fighter or whatever heading here. Let's say Pop Fighter. I'm just saying. Of obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this for Pop Fighter. But what I'm saying is, you could use this for different purposes, including for making a game and 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 put some pictures, turn some pictures around change it touch it up ai enhance which is crazy and it makes it only look better you see i gave the mosaic effect and it's like you know any picture again you could use a regular picture of a human being and make it more cool and more fancy in many ways anyways i wanted to show you this tool because i'm kind of using it so let's say this guy here let me just do this, add the layer here. Let's go to prison dude. And he looks like he had better days. Okay, so let me just uh, stretch it for now. There you go. So, okay, we have this picture here. What you could do is just say flatten, which which makes, you know, the, this pretty much, I'm, I'm bringing this on the top. Now let's go to the um, digital art. And graphic, let's say I don't want to colors in here. So I'm just choosing this guy. Look what it's doing to it. And then that's not it. You just could tweak it. You can tweak the colors. And then sharper, less sharper. Like, and then color amount. Let's say you don't want color or you want less colors. You do less colors. And then amount look at this so you could do less sharp and 
I'm just saying like if you like stuff like this right and then here you could add little more colors to it okay let's say I mean not everybody's gonna like this because I'm going too crazy but that's because I want to show you things you know let me make it more sharp yeah like this right so now I'm just applying this and look at this guys you go here uh, touch up AI portrait enhancer I'm clicking here and he's just making it more nicer without me doing anything because I don't know too much about the lighting about uh, and then let's say you need this as a picture in your game or something right we are applying these changes and um, wrinkles perfect skin those are different you know you still have brushes in there let's say I want to turn this and I want to write a text like here it is so you can make it thicker you can change the color to white right and you can even make opacity right so let's do that and then um, well color is not that great I'm trying to find a color yeah I think it's gonna be white is fine and then we can also do the background right the background is turn it into black there you go there you go guys so I'm just showing you pop no this is our authority this is the game authority right let's say and I'm not saying do this per se thing go with your mind do whatever you guys want uh, all I'm doing is I'm showing you ways like what you could do with this right you could put this here and use this as a as animation or as a, as a like um, just game scene whatever you want like you could do like a gallery for your game and if this is something you like like he looks you, you have a character like that use that if you don't just you know use any print screen from your own game but I'm just showing you ways you could play with this again it's, it's I, I'm not getting paid by those guys are they not sponsors or anything of my channel it's just they have amazing like product and I just felt like maybe someone else might you know think it's useful for them for myself I'm using those guys and again look they have a lot of things you could like I mean you could use for a lot of purposes obviously I'm not uh, like you don't have to use all of those things I'm doing you know just do something here you can add some effects to it look at this thing guys you can add like a rust type of thing colors mingles it's like uh, yeah a lot of lot of things you could do with those again this is crazy guys look at this without wait you add some dirt and like make like look older and then you can turn something like a paint <laughs> look at this switch the colors change the color formation make look like it's garbage make look like it's crazy cool so all kind of things paper brick looking there you go you want this thing to look like a brick you put the freaking brick what is this a wall behind there you go I mean you know there's yo again there's so many things you fabric look this becomes a freaking fabric in the, you could tweak those things like it's crazy how much they really went through it and and they give you like all kind of effects and things you could do it's crazy like waterish splashy uh, metal you want a metal look look it's like blinking like a metal you see all those it creates like a it's amazing in my opinion this is like really nice tool that if you want to create something graphical and you don't want to spend a whole day just use those guys and those effects here it's nuts it's just I could keep going like look it turns into freaking black and white and like this this you could use in a, like a screen or scene or something 
too much of uh, effects guys like again you can let's say turn into some different type of art look at the colors you see this you could use as a picture inside your game I mean again guys it's like mind-blowing I'm just I like this tool I'm using it I not so much that my, I don't have that much of time unfortunately to play with it more I've you know I've done it a few times and again look at this guys just look at this it turns a regular picture into like watercolor or, or it looks like a hand painted or something so I'm using this for my game to to make some you know because to if I would hire someone who's a graphics designer to get any picture like this guys yeah that would cost me a lot of money they charge more than 3d graphics and this is obviously a taste you have to have a taste for it it's not uh, for everybody it's not everybody's gonna like your uh, stuff but this for me let's say this part this one guys this is amazing like I could do this and then you again you can go and this this guy is crazy enhancing the portrait there you go he's adding more colors but it's still like hand painted it's crazy you see that's what I'm saying like if you need something like this in your game I would use this this is this is really like cheap program it's five bucks a month or something or you could get it like oh, for whole year I got it for 50 something dollars and you know and you can use it from anywhere that's why I use it sometimes in my work you know I don't have time to like do stuff at home and I'm you know I didn't have time authority right you could put here or here whatever so anyways uh, I just want to share with you very quickly about what I'm using for my um, concept art it's like concept artish look for inside my games and you can see now I, I used a little bit of it I turned those pictures into like flashier anyways this is my page you guys can check it out it's nothing to check out yet but I'm working on it because yeah Armbro studio is coming this is our logo and yeah that's pretty much it for website and how I'm building the animations for it now let's go back to the interesting stuff which is um, our game pop fighter this is a start screen I don't know why I'm on the start screen at this point it doesn't make sense to me let's go back to scenes obviously we need to go to scenes and then Utah was the last one I was working on so I'm kind of surprised this guy is um, not there what the hell I hope I didn't lose anything. Hmm. Let me try to test it and see. Let's go to the start screen and see if everything is working the way it's supposed to work because I get worried right now. I don't think this should be what I should see right now. Okay, let me make this bigger. So start and again I'm using my joystick I got it for like 20 something dollars from Walmart it's Xbox simulation joystick let's see okay okay so obviously we have here options you see I'm going to add here like display settings graphic settings audio volume and this one works actually I connected already controls it will show you what controls you have language performance uh, preference I'm sorry uh, difficulty difficulty works too um, I could choose standard easy whatever right so let's choose easy for now and then based on what you choose it actually depends so let's do two players so you can choose between two player or one player game and aspect should be full HD alright 
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be this guy. There is no, obviously not that much of a choice. So just bear that in mind. So those are two levels, uh, Utah and ba a Junkyard right now. Round one, fight. Okay, so let me come here. Wow, oh, this guy gets a hit, jump. Oh. But this isn't right, guys. I cannot believe in this. This is some old code. That's not all right. Okay, I don't know what happened, but this cannot be true. I can't lose the freaking code, guys. This is gonna kill me. I'm gonna get the heart attack. Which is about, I'm about to get the heart attack. So something happened here. And I need to have this code. The hell is this? You see, this should be Okay, again, let me explain you what is happening. I was trying to change my repository where I'm storing the game, right? And this is when I added the combos and stuff. Like, and then here is some changes. And let's see what changes are those. And obviously, I won't understand anything from it. But it's, there is some freaking changes I didn't make. Um, and I don't like that, guys. Seriously, this is bad. Um, so that's because I was trying to a different backend, and this is worrying me very much. So, well, I don't know what the hell these changes are. I want those. Let me check out this commit. I want this commit, guys. I don't care about this garbage. I want to make sure that my game has these changes. Everything you see here is what I need right now. I don't give a damn about this top one. If this is some garbage, I'm going to delete. Because this is where I was, you see? I created an added combo plus special attacks for Zelim. So that's what I want. And that's why you'll use something like this. This is a uh, repo, uh, this is like a source control. I'm using Git Kraken, the pro version, a pretty much nice. I hope it works, man. Because I cannot build all that, what I've done from scratch. I'm gonna kill myself earlier. I hope not, guys. I just don't want you to lose me. <laughs> so let me start this. It's worrying me though. It's, it's pretty sad. Oh, God damn it, I'm like... That's why one thing I'm doing bad, I should have created a freaking backup, guys. Always remember, I cannot like say enough that backup is very important. I mean, I should be fine. I should, this, this whatever change I just made, this should work. Because you see, I still have this commit. So uh, this whatever here happened, I don't know. Because I don't know guys, I just hope there is my changes and I could find it. Otherwise I'm really gonna be, actually I could see the changes, what I changed here and added, whatever. But this is like catastrophe for me so I cannot just please if there is something like God whoever whatever higher power I need you right now so don't do this to me that's why I'm, I'm having a, always a bad so I was using a, my own git repository online and I mean it's like it's very sad 
Okay, actually, I could see the changes. If I go to animator, this is Zelim's animator. And if I go here, overhand thing. God damn it, guys. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. I didn't want to stream about these guys, Jesus. That's crazy, man. This is all stuff I bought at that Yakuza, this, that. How the hell? I can't believe in this. One second, guys. This is. Okay, I don't know if I'm doing it correctly, but looks like here are the changes I need. Uh, added more combo and special attacks for Zelim. This is the latest one. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry, but I have to go suffer online with you. I mean, not, not that you guys have to suffer with me. Pretty much my own suffering right now. So let me see. Some freaking blood assets. I got those new effects. That's correct. What the hell? Assets, Yakuza. Where is CC? There it is. So, um, Motions Mariak. Okay, what is this? Uh, this is the saddest freaking part, guys. You see, I can special attacks. I the problem with the with the unity is you don't really understand you don't have always a code sometimes there is a freaking file change um, and that's my case and here you cannot see anything it's just like coded you know like you cannot understand what a what a change is in here so here we are in the master branch so let me God damn it, I should have checked this before going live. But um, let me s just close this down and try it again. This is crazy. Guys, I, I have to figure this one out no matter what. This is craziest thing ever. It shouldn't happen to me. Should, this should not happen to anyone but if you go through this you have to make sure this is bad this is freaking bad I swear to god this is not getting me this is I'm, I'm losing here last two streams to just give you an idea which is tons of work tons of code change this is some ridiculous stuff that is going on here So, I Gabron, Gabron, Gabron. Okay. Let's 
bullshit is all I see. I don't understand this though. Okay, so there is added this and added that. Where the hell is this? Because it should be there, right? And here, what is the change here? Prefab change. This is crazy. This doesn't make sense. So this one was the hell is this six days ago man anyways guys this is what I'm gonna do because this is crazy and I have to figure out what is going on so I will shut down the stream now and then I'll continue after I fix this I'll start streaming again at least I gave you some information about um, about the you know be funny be, be funky and my website so this looks like more serious so I have to like handle it I have to go through the code and make sure every change I made I'm getting it back because otherwise this is bad this is I'm losing two weeks worth of work and I cannot afford to do that like not in my life not in my you know that would be sad very sad so yeah um thank you all for being with me uh let me handle this on my own and then i'll be back and i'll see you later because i have to fix this thank you all have a good one bye, -bye.